Hello and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a portable and a simple step counter like this one. So we'll be using the MPU 6050 accelerometer and gyroscope module, an OLED display and an 80Tiny85 to build this project. So a step counter as you can see will detect if you have taken any steps and will increment it on the display. So basically it will sense for any activity using the accelerometer or gyroscope module and it will use the microcontroller to check if that activity was like a step. If it was like a step, it will increment the count on the screen. So you would have seen devices like this in fitness bands and in your mobiles and even they use an accelerometer to get it working. So in this video, I'll explain the complete circuit diagram on how to build this and I will also show you the code so that you can build one on your own. So let's get started. This video was sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay provides high quality and cost effective PCB prototype and fabrication services. They are well equipped to handle standard and advanced PCB designs and can also provide SMD stencil and PCB assembly services. They are known for their shorter lead time and customer service and also supports the maker community. So do consider giving them a try for your next PCB. Coming back to the circuit diagram, as I told you, it is a very simple circuit and we only have three main components. The first thing is the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller itself. And then we have two I2C devices, which is the MPU 6050 module and the other is the OLED display. Now, both of these modules work with I2C communication. As you can see, they have the SDA and SEL pins and both of them are tied together. And we have two pull-up resistors, R4 and R3, each of 10K. And these two pins, SCL and SDA, are connected to the I2C pins of the microcontroller. As you can see here, SCL and SDA is connected to pin 7 and pin 6, which is the I2C pins of the microcontroller. Now, the other pins are not necessary. So what I have done is I have used two push buttons over here. And again, those two push buttons also have pull-up resistors and they are connected to SW1 and SW2. So the purpose of these two push buttons is that you can press them and change what is being shown on the display. Again, it's completely optional. And then we have a header pin which brings out all these uh, uh, GPIO pins on the controller. So if you want to expand this project or connect any other things to this module, you can use these GPIO pins. Now, as you could have already noticed, we have built a PCB for this project. This is the microcontroller. I have used an IC holder so that I can reuse the IC. And then the header pin is shown over here. The two push buttons are over here. The MPU 6050 is on the back side along with the cell, which I will come back to it later. And then we have the OLED display, which will go on top of this. Now the complete circuit is powered by this battery, which is a three volt coin cell. And uh, the reason for choosing 80Tiny85 and MPU 6050 for this project is that both have very low operating voltages. So MPU 6050 can operate with as low as 2.4 volts and 80Tiny85 can operate with as low as 2.7 volts. Now this battery will provide only 3 volts but yet I have used it because I need this to be portable. So that is pretty much with the circuit diagram and one more thing I should say is you can't program this IC uh, directly on this board you will have to use a separate programmer like this one and you can directly uh, plug in the IC over here and connect it to your computer to program it. I will also show you an article on how to build this and use it to program your ATtiny 85 microcontrollers. Now let's go on to the computer screen and I'll show you how the program works for this project. So this is the complete program for our 80 tiny 85 based step counter. The complete code can also be found at the link given in the description of this video on the website circuitdigest.com. So this code uses two main libraries. One is tiny wire M, which is for I2C communication. And the other is tiny OZ OLED, which is for displaying characters on the OLED display. Again, you can download both these libraries from and you can add them to your Arduino IDE for a successful compilation. Now the program is pretty much simple inside the void setup what we have done is we have initialized the OLED display and then we have initialized the register using the registers we have also initialized the MPU 6050. 
Now, what we have done is we have set the MQ6050 for a low power and then we have configured it to work as a gyroscope and uh, all these register values you can find in the register map of the MPU6050 uh, datasheet. Uh, let me quickly show you that as well. So this is the MPU600 or MPU6050 register map. Uh, let me just quickly search. So yeah, here we go. So here you can find all the address for the MPU6050 and what it will do respectively. So I have used these registers over the program here to set the gyroscope, to set the MPU6050 in gyroscope mode and also changed it to work in the lowest power possible. Now inside the void loop, what we have done is we have uh, used the get axle function to get the accelerometer values from the, our MPU6050 which is this one. So we have read this uh, address and we are receiving the Excel X, uh, X, Y and Z accelerometer values from our MPU 6050. And then we are finding the vector value of it using this formula. And then if this vector value is greater than six, we can consider that it was actually a step. If it is something else, it means the moment was some other activity. So if it is greater than six, we can consider it as a step and then finally print it on the OLED display. Now I should say this is not the best method to calculate the step. This is just for project purpose because in actual uh, step counters like in your fitness band or in your mobile phones, they use something called sensor fusion which combines the accelerometer with gyroscope values and also it goes through a lot of uh, algorithm before it actually predicts it to be a step or something else. So this is a good project for beginners. Don't expect it to calculate steps accurately as your fitness band would do. But uh, there are a lot of Sco uh, scope for instrument uh, improvements but there are a lot of scope for improvements here if you're interested you can play around with this and you know uh, change the code to make it work better now as i told you earlier for our project over here you won't be able to program this ic directly uh, you'll be using something like this now if you want to know how to use this let me quickly show you that if you go to the website and just search for at tiny 85 and you'll find a project which shows how to build this module and program your at tiny 85 you can see you can just read through this article to know how to build this and program your ic so so now you have the program, you know how the circuit works. All you have to do is design the circuit on a breadboard or on a perf board and test it out for yourself. Now, now if you want to build the PCBs that I have built over here, I will also share you the Gerber files, which again you can find at the link given in the description of this video. And you can order your PCBs for this project. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, just get into their website pcbway.com. Make sure you have already logged in or signed up and then enter the dimensions of the PCB you want to order. Our step counter PCB over here is of size 60mm cross 40mm and the number of quantity I will need is 5 and the number of layers is 2, the thickness can be left to 1.6. Click on quote now and you will be taken to another page where they will ask for a few more details. Most of these you can leave to their default values and then just proceed with the checkout. Another interesting thing to note here is that you can choose different colors for your PCBs if you want your boards to look more attractive. I will just leave it in the default green color and on the right side you have few more options. You can select the country to which you want to ship and also the shipping method. I will choose India and FedEx as the shipping option and as you can see my product will be shipped on this date and delivered on this date and I would have to pay a total fee of $25. Once you're okay with the delivery date and the shipment fee and the PCB manufacturing cost, just click on save to cart and you'll be taken to another page where they will ask for the Gerber file of the project. So the Gerber file for this PCB board which I showed you can be found at the link given in the description of this video. But you can upload any Gerber file of your choice and then just proceed with submitting your order and make the payment. Now after a few days my PCBs arrived in a neatly labeled box and all the PCBs were of very good quality. Now if you consider the board that we used in our project you could see that the quality of the PCB was very good. The tracks, the layers, everything was of very good quality so I directly proceeded with soldering the components and started testing them. 
Now I have already uploaded the code that I just showed you to this microcontroller. What I will do is I'll just remove it, connect it to our PCB over here and then connect the MPU 6050 on the back side. Our battery is already connected so it is powered. I'll just go ahead connect this OLED display and take it outside to check how the code works. Now I have been working with this device for quite some time now and as you can see whenever I shake my wrist you can see the count getting incremented. So whenever you're walking or jogging let's say your wrist gets moved it detects the movement and it increments the count as you can see here. So similarly we can also try walking with it as you can see it is incrementing from 8 to 9 and let me turn around and take another step and you can see it further increments from 9 to 10. So that is it guys this is how the project works hope you enjoyed watching it if you have any doubts please leave them in the comment section or in the forums and we'll try our best in answering them. Thank you have a nice day bye bye.